Hey, hey guys, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. We are here and I can't believe I'm getting ready to say this, but it is a cold day in Florida. We have the Aventon Pace 500 and we are gonna do a dual battery installation with the Electric All Wheel Dual Battery Discharge Balance Kit. Uh, we know that this is a 48 volt battery. It's got a 500 watt motor, so we're gonna use the uh, probably the 40 amp discharge balancer. I doubt that the controller is less than 20 amps on the limit. I'm already seeing some striking similarities to that Ride One Up Limited that we just did. So you may want to check that out. The casing is there, so I think it's going to be very similar. Other than that, I think it should be pretty painless. Um, if we can't do a full internal install, we're going to get a couple of extra of the electric all wheel XT60 extension cables and then we'll just run that up. We have the infamous 48 volt 10 amp hour battery that we have used on a lot of our bikes. Uh, it is very convenient, easy to place. Uh, we do suggest it, but you are not limited to this. So keep in mind, you are not limited by the amp hours of the factory battery. You can add any amp hour battery you want. Just make sure that the voltage rating matches. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Here we go. We have our kit. It has the XT60 to bullet connectors, male and female, so we're good there. And we also have our uh, braided extension cables, and then this kit has the 40 amp discharge balancer. We anticipate somewhere in that line. Uh, we also anticipate the controller being here, so we're gonna pull the battery, pull the controller faceplate for uh, the housing, and then see about getting it wired in. So there's three screws that we're going to remove. One screws in this way into the frame housing. So I'm just going to leave that screw in. I'm not sure if it's intended to come out or not, but it's threaded and it's deep enough here to where I'm not worried about it. There's enough threading where it'll stay. I'm already looking inside to see, and I think maybe there's enough room, but I'm not positive. I'm gonna go ahead and undo the wiring on the back to the motor too. And what I'm doing that for is to get enough slack so that when I start pulling on these wires, they just come out. So this is a 22 amp controller right there so yes we're definitely gonna have to utilize the Aventon kit which we've already set up with the 40 amp discharge balancer and we also know that we have bullet connectors for this one, we do anticipate that future models or newer models than this uh, will have XT60s, but right now we're seeing it. Uh, it's got bullet connectors. Here we go. So let's take this up. All I'm doing right now is making sure that they are unwound from any other. We can't mess this up. There's only one way, red to red, black to black. 
and this is battery in on the balancer this is balancer out to controller and all I'm doing right now is making sure the cover goes over so it's not going to short out get those plugged in they should be nice and snug all right, we're ready for test. All right, here we go. I got the recommended battery. The recommended second battery. This is the 40 amp balancer. We're gonna go ahead and look for uh, balancer out to the controller and that'll be here. And then we will hook up and test our battery. So we'll just run an extension. Here we go. And there we are. I have power. I'm just going to show you that the throttle works. Oh, don't forget to plug in your motor. There we go. Has one. And there we got it. We got rotation on the motor. So that's good. So we know that the connection is good. We're going to go ahead and test the next. Perfect. All right, now we know we've got good connections. Our big worry now is gonna be spacing. And this will determine whether or not we can actually put the balancer inside the housing with the controller. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this up. When we look at this, we know that this end is what we need to plug in here. So this will be fed up through the bottom. go. Now we're going to take our extension. Hello puppies. And take our extension and run it out. Now we're going to make our connection. Hello Fiona. disconnect my motor wire again so I can get enough slack and then I'm moving for the controller now we've got the controller in now it's playing the wiring game to see if we can actually get the fit
And it looks like we have a winner. All right, precarious stuff here, guys. So just make sure that all your connections are good. What I'm going to do is test this battery real quick. There we go. Perfect. So we know all that works. Now we're just gonna button it up. For the fitment, the balancer is actually in the back. So it's balancer, controller, and then the front side was used for the larger wiring pieces like the Combination XT60s. When you look at it, this plate actually has a thin bottom so you can see that it generates room for you with the curvature of it so it works well it's tight there is no lie So now, as usual, I'm going to bring my cabling up the back. And bring it over. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in as well. So I've hung my battery. Now I'm just strapping it in, making sure to get the cabling wrapped around too. And then I'm taking the excess slack and then just putting it back into the bag and then zipping it closed. So one more time just to test, we'll go ahead and take this battery out. Turn it on, lift it as one. There we go. That's second battery juice only. We know that one works. We tested the inline battery earlier. Just for good measure, we're unplugging this second battery. And there's that. There we are. So there we have it, we have a 48 volt dual battery, a Venton Pace 500. Now listen, when you're in these compact spaces, it is very, very important that you make sure that all your sheathings, all your coverings, all your connectors are intact when you're doing this. 
if you're pushing wires and you feel resistance, you should stop. There should not be an overbearing force while you're trying to get all of these connections in there. In doing so, if you do that, you run the risk of stripping your wiring, shorting out your controller, and causing all sorts of havoc. So be careful while you're doing this. Those bullet connectors, those silicone sheaths need to be over the connectors so they do not contact the frame. So keep that in mind and make sure to take your time. It's very important. Take your time. This stuff is worth the time it takes to install it properly. And if you do that, you will enjoy it for years to come, I promise. With that being said, if you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Check out all of the other bikes we are trying to move through a lineup. Anytime we can get a bike in our hand, we will. It's oftentimes time dependent. So when we get one, sometimes I'd like to do a better video, but it just has to be done because I won't have an opportunity with that bike again. So I apologize about that. We're trying to get better. We're working on this video thing, getting them cut faster, and then making sure that we show you all of the angles and everything that you need to actually get this done. Check out some of our other, some of our favorite YouTubes out there. We got David Brand New, Citizen Cycles out there. We love the Park Tool videos. They're just a lot, a lot of good informational stuff out there. And we hope that we're doing our part to contribute. Check out our Facebook group. If you haven't already, look online. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, come say hi. And we also need some love with Instagram. We know that we got to work on that. I know I keep saying it in all these videos, but the truth is the truth. We have our TikTok rolling. Typically when we're there, we're doing three minute shorts. So we'll show you this version in a three minute video. Uh, it doesn't cover all the bases, but it should get you where you need to be mentally. So you know what you're in for. Uh, and then we're just gonna keep rolling. Stick with us, give us a like and subscribe. We'll talk to you next time. What? Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> you like that bike? Yeah.